Hello everyone, I am Neha Atara, welcome to you to Nuri AI. So in this video, we will talk about the library which is called NLTK, Natural Language Toolkit. Natural Language Toolkit is the library of NLP, Natural Language Processing. So before going to Natural Language Toolkit, let's first jump to the NLP. So NLP is nothing but the combination of NLU plus NLG. NLU which means Natural Language Understanding and NLG means Natural Language Generation. So in Natural Language Understanding, it extracts positive and negative sentiments from the text means it can able to understand that if a person is texting or by voice it is telling the machine something negative or something positive so it is the work of natural language understanding now what is natural language generation that is nlg it generates the new text in respond to the person that is asking something or questioning something so nlu plus nlg equals to nlp if you want to nlp if you want to understand what is NLP in detail with example, you can watch our video that is what is artificial intelligence it will be available on the i button or the description below. So for that now we have understood what is natural language processing. Let's move towards the NLTK. It is the Python NLP library that we know. NLTK is Python programming framework for working with human language data and statistical natural language processing that is NLP. So ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म है जो कि ह्यूमन लैंग्वेज के डेटा के साथ वर्क करता है NLTK now serves as a base for Python developers who are just getting their feet wet in the area of NLP and machine learning. यानी कि it is serving as a base, वो as a base work करता है जो Python developers अभी अभी शुरू कर रहे हैं NLP और machine learning के area में काम करना. Stephen Board and Edward Looper of the University of Pennsylvania founded the library which was instrumental in pioneering NLP research. Means if we want to study NLP or doing research in NLP, a person must learn or work with NLTK. And yes, NLTK is written in Java, but it is modular with Python more. Now that we have found out that what is this particular library is, so let us understand what is the use of NLTK. So NLTK involves text processing libraries such as tokenization, parsing, classification, stemming, tagging and semantic reasoning. It also provides easy interface to use to over the 50 corpora and lexical resources such as WordNet. Now one by one let's understand that text processing libraries libraries first one is tokenization so this module is used to split a sentence or a document or a paragraph it will split a sentence into words so that machine can understand it better and if he has a document it will split into a sentence so with the help of tokenization method the text can be split for the better understanding before moving towards the next text processing library guys if you have any question like why I am teaching the theory first and not the practical. So the answer is that practical is very very important but for machine learning for artificial intelligence if you know what the particular library or what the model you are using you need to go to the in-depth theory for it so that you can get clear about what are the concept and what are you going to use. That's why theory is equally important as practicals that when you implement any library you are clear that why am I implementing this particular library only and not the other library and you will also have everything like advantages disadvantages and uses in it because accuracy is not everything but on the basis of the requirement of the project you need to decide that which model will be best fit or which library will be best fit so now you get the reason that why am I providing the theory regarding it and by that the next text processing library is parsing. It is the process of determining the syntactic structure of a text by analyzing word based on the grammar. So as humans we are using grammar in our daily lives. Machine also needs to understand that what is grammar, what are the tenses, present tense, past tense, pa future tense, what are all these things. So for that parsing is used. Now the third one is classification. So it's very easy to choose the correct class label for the given input. Let's take the most famous example of classifying dog and cat. So if you give the dog image, machine has to classify it as a dog. If you give the cat image, machine has to classify it as a cat. So it is very simple and NLTK gives us classification text processing library.
Now, stemming. Stemming is the process of reducing a word to its word stem that affixes to suffixes and prefixes or to the roots known as lemma. It's important in natural language understanding, that is NLU. So, for the machine to understand the input text given by the user, it can use stemming, which reduces the words to its stem so that it can know that what are its suffixes and what are its prefixes. Now, the next one is tagging. Tagging may Examples hote hai jaise ki cc, cd, ex, jj, md, pos, nnp, etc. These are the taggers used to assign grammatical information of each word of the sentence. That pos is something like part of speech. So, aise saari cheeze samajhne ke liye machine tagging use karta hai. Then the last one is semantic reasoning. To convert a normal sentence into a semantic value expressions, we need to use semantic reasoning. Because... As humans can understand, there is a cat, there is a dog, machine cannot understand it the way we understand. We have to divide a sentence into some form of expressions to make it understand. For that, we need to use semantic reasoning. Okay, so now we, now we know the use of natural language toolkit that it has some text processing libraries we can use when we need to understand the language of human that is user or we need to reply it something that is we need to generate some text we need to use NLTK text processing libraries. Now let's move towards the advantages and disadvantages of natural language toolkit. So advantages are most well known and full NLP library with many third extensions means it is very famous and it has full NLP library extensions. Second, it supports the largest number of languages compared to other libraries. Let's see the disadvantages of NLTK. It is difficult to learn and use. It is very slow as compared to other libraries. NLTK does not provide any neural network model. And this were the advantages and disadvantages of NLTK. So this was the NLTK library. If, if you know any other thing regarding NLTK, share your views in the comment section so that our audience can get it. And yes, don't forget to like, share and subscribe new AI. Keep watching. Thank you and I'll see you with the next library.